Alrighty guys, it is dark out again. So I got a light set up. I don't know how good this is gonna work. If it's gonna show up, it looks like it might be okay. So we got our Mr. Tackle Box trout box for the month of December. I'm guessing they did kind of change the box around a little bit because this one's taped the same as the last two. So let's dive on in here. Pull out our little newspaper slash card slash informational packet. Oops. All right, so here's what we got in the box here. The first overview here. I don't know what that shadow is. Oh, that shadow might be the camera. That's fun. Hopefully that doesn't affect anything. All right, so first we have Lucky John the... Araya? In Anaya? Anaira? 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 I don't know. All right, so this here... It's from Lucky John, so it's Japanese, made, designed in Japan. Um, okay, so this is a little, little kind of crankbait here for trout. I was, for a second, I thought it was a bass box. Like it's like a super finesse crankbait, but it's for trout, so that makes better sense. Come on, come on, come on. All right. So hopefully that's not completely shaded. Hold it up higher, I guess, right there. Pretty darn, nope, pretty darn good coloring. Might be too high. Trying to look at my phone here and see how it's coming through. Does this give me a color? Of course not, it's Lucky John. It's got a brown top, brown black top. Silver sides, orange belly. Oh boy. Okay, so the next... We got from Lindy, we have the Watt Spit Jig. All right, that's what I pulled up from the bottom. Sweet. All right, okay. So this is looking like it's a kind of a grasshopper body. Oh, boy, that was expected. Grasshopper body, chartreuse. Yeah, chartreuse. Kind of grasshopper body with a little chartreuse jig head right there. I guarantee that'll catch something. Not really scented. It is a 32nd of an ounce, so have fun casting that. It is in chartreuse silver. And, uh, yeah. So that's pretty darn cool. That's not the card. Put all this stuff on the card, all right. So then we have for Big Bite Baits, the Curl Tail Minnow. All right, Big Bite Baits bag. Let's rip that thing open. All right, so here they're looking like kind of, for some reason I'm thinking they're like those candy shark. You guys know what I'm talking about? But I'm sure that is not the case. So don't eat them. Oh my goodness, there we go. We are scented, kind of a squid scent, I would say. Pro Series, enforced with bite juice. They're calling this tractor green. So you got like a green with kind of a yellow top here. Looks kind of blue earlier. So you got kind of like a little grub tail. I don't know if it's supposed to go this way. It looks like it might supposed to go that way because it's got the bigger fin on the top there. Let's see right there, you can probably see it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Probably use a little jig head on that too. It works well. Alrighty, then we got from Glow Shots, or sorry, Northland Tackle, the Glow Shot Spoon. This looks like a Northland Tackle box. So, we have a removal tool. Oh, okay, cool. I've seen stuff like this before. Oh, boy. Oh, I put a staple right there in the middle. Let's see what they did here. Okay, let's try not to lose all this. All right, so, the way this works, see if I can show you guys. All right, so you got, you know, typical kind of looking spoon here, except it's got the hole in the middle there. So you guys can see that hole in the middle right there see there that might show up better a little hole in the middle 
And so now what you do with that hole is in here is a pack of, and eh, we'll open one up. Let's see here. So here is going to be a bunch of little glow sticks, if I can get this thing to open. I don't know why they make all this stuff so little. And I can understand, I guess, if you're in Japan, you got little Japanese hands that uh, might be able to get in there better. But, all right, so I don't know how many are in here. I wonder if it says. Does not say. How many does it give me? Includes three light sticks, so it looks like these are all going to be in red. All right, so fill that back up. So you got your little glow stick. There we go. Tend your child again, shaking up them glow sticks. So then this should just pop right in here. Yep, so that pops in just like that. And then, hmm, how to do this? I must block out the light now. Now I actually want it to be dark. First time I set up a light, then I want it to be dark. Let's see here, that part show it up so there as you guys can see it's got a little glow to it there I actually have a bunch of these little glow sticks that I got from my uncle for uh, Christmas last year but it's pretty darn neat hopefully that's showing up for you guys hopefully so that'll be good for you know night or low visibility it'll give it that extra little bit of flash and of course use the removal tool this pushes it right on out all right Setting everything on my card again. Don't know why I am doing that to myself. All right, so that was a glow spot. All right, so then now from... It's hard to see with this light. There we go. All right, from Kamal Tackle, we have the round clip on float. So we have some bobbers. Let's see here. This does have a... Resealable? Is it resealable? No, maybe not. I'm not going to open these, I guess. But, so just, you know, nothing really too fancy. Anything here, just look up on floats. Bright orange. Do these have a size? I'm really not that into floats. They're round snap-on. says they're weighted. Made in the USA, I like that. Like that. All right. So let's go with that. So again, we have our scorpion sticker. Still not exactly sure what that means. If any of you guys know what that is all about, you guys can post that in the comments. And then they also gave us a little scorpion tattoo. All right, they're pretty cool. A little different. First time that I know of they've given a tattoo. We got the catch and win going on again. So this is a trout box. So I believe it's 12 inches. You get 12 inches for a trout. So you catch a trout 12 inches, lay it on the scale, snap your picture, put it on Instagram. Hashtag MTB Keeper. As you guys can tell, the bottom there still looks like a little tackle box and says to dispose of all trash and use baits responsibly. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.